Microsoft has always been known for making the life of the developers easy, making sure that the adoption of a new technology is much easier. Today we'll look at some of their new offerings called Cognitive Services that are part of the Microsoft Azure platform. There are a bunch of uh, Cognitive Services that can be used to solve business problems around vision, speech, language, etc. Today we'll specifically look into something called custom vision. To build a custom vision or make use of these APIs, you don't really have to be an expert in machine learning or artificial intelligence. Prior experience is not really required. Any developer can start it, start building APIs that he can consume within their websites, within their uh, mobile phone applications, etc. Let's quickly take a look uh, how this can be utilized. This is what I have created a small demo already. However, I'll show you the steps that I uh, I have executed so far. This is a finding guns project or sort of experiment that I am performing. What outcome of this experiment is to build an API that can identify items that are similar to guns. So I have uploaded some images already into this and I have couple of untagged images. So I'll quickly tag uh, these few additional images on the fly. I'll say this looks like a gun and I'll tag this another image and say yep this looks like a gun. Now I have close to 18 images that are tagged with guns. I'll train my object classifier so it's performing a training on those set of images that I have published it's a small set of uh, images about 18 of them so it wouldn't take that long for it to classify them but something for a real uh, business use case you can if you want to identify your company logo in any uh, in, in those set of images or any specific uh, uh, equipment etc you can add number of ages so if, if you have thousands of images you are likely to get much better results once this is iteration 2 is completed we'll, we'll go back and check that but this this sort of results is what we expect so it we give that the accuracy with this model is going to be low because number of images are very less however uh, the mean average precision is still very high into the range of 73 percent so it looks like our iteration 2 has completed and with this you see the accuracy has increased because we added few more images so now image count is 18 we can quickly test uh, and quickly perform a test on this so I have uh, kept one local image file for testing let's see using iteration 2 now this API is working and it tells us that the probability of this being a gun is approximately 70% which is quite high considering that we have given a sample of just 18 images once you are satisfied with your APIs and your performance of the object identifier that you have built, you can actually publish this iteration too. This will take care of your deployment of these APIs, the backend systems required for this. This is already connected to a Microsoft Azure account, so all the all the predictions, all those. Uh, services are actually being uh, built here. Once you have tested these APIs, you can actually have these endpoints ready for you that you can start using in your applications. If you have a bunch of images coming from your application or from other sources, you can start uploading and this trained object identifier will help you identify the images that you are expecting in that set of images. 
with this this concludes the demo thank you